Super Idol the Charong. Don't make me do it. Ten by you, Chong, for the end. Yo. So. We gotta talk about, uh, well, well, some updates and shit. I mean, we, you know, it's been a second since I've did this, but I guess this is gonna be my last, um, video before the reviews come out on Monday. Um, uh, and I'll probably make a video about that. I don't have a review code, unfortunately, right? But I don't feel left out because, um, well, it's pretty obvious. I only got like 1.k. 1,000 subscribers, 1.4k or some shit like that. But I mean, I, I do got like some Instagram followers and shit, you know, yeah, yeah, and like TikTok followers, yeah, got a bigger number on there. But I don't feel left out because a lot of people actually didn't get it. And um, ignore all these other recommended. Um, How's it going? <laughs> Luke Stevens did not get a review code. He gets a review code for like everything. And so, um, yeah, that's um, that's interesting. Uh, there was like some um, some things going on with like some people not getting review codes and shit and like people like Oh, I was critical of the game and that's why I didn't get the review code or you know me and my friends Well, let me just read the actual like fucking uh, you know thing right here. Uh Yeah, so this is a um He's a dragon. I think I've seen his videos around on YouTube about Dragon Age, but I haven't really like looked at him but he says three creators, myself inclu included, were a bit more critical than others with our hands on time with Dragon Age to Belgard. Not a single one of us will be getting a review code with time to actually give opinions before release. Uh, just thought I would throw that out there. Yeah, that's why I wanted a review, a review code too. So then like, I can make my freaking content and you know, I don't gotta like rush that bitch out, you know. Cause I, my actual review, I, shit, y'all gotta give me a, a week for that. God damn, cause that, <laughs> I think uh, some people um, finished the game 100% in like 76 hours or something. There's a couple of them that did that. So I I don't know. It might be a little bit less time that, you know, I'll be able to finish the game. Probably over the weekend. I don't know. It depends. But anyways. Um, yeah. So he didn't get a review code either. Um, so that's interesting to note. Please keep in mind, folks, this does not mean that my more critical opinion is better or more truthful than those who have been more positive simply pointing out how marketing works this also doesn't mean the game will be bad but it's something to consider there are also people who are very positive and we're also at that event who didn't get review copies also um i definitely think you guys should have been given codes but i just want to point out um it wasn't only being more critical yeah yeah so i mean that is kind of weird Right, I mean, like, well, he's a, he, I, I know he posts Dragon Age shit, right? You know, I, I kind of expect him to get something, but especially for Luke Stevens, like, I'd expect him to get a fucking review code. What the shit? But anyways, um, I'm guessing Maddie got a review code. He ain't say shit yet, I think. But yeah, of course he got a review code. He's a fucking super fan. No, I'm playing, but um, no, he got a review code for sure, bro, for sure. Um, he was at the event too, but. Not giving it to people at the event is, uh, that's kind of weird. Well, it's kind of, it, it is kind of weird in my opinion because you invite these people, right, to the, inve the event to, like, you know, we're talking about, like, when they're able to play Act 1, um, I think, like, for the whole day. But, yeah, um, and then they, like, did their little reviews on Act 1 and shit. Um, it was not all of Act 1, but it was, like, a good, it was a good amount. And, uh, yeah, I kind of find it weird, you know? You, you invite them to the event, but then they're not allowed to, like, get review codes and shit. Feels a little off. I would make sure everyone at the event gets, like, a review code. I don't know, but that's just me. But anyways, yeah, so that's a little weird. Sure, why not? Um, anyway, so that is that. Some people getting review codes, some people not. Some people being critical of the game getting review codes. Some people, um, you know, being positive about the game, not getting review codes. You know, it's, it's whatever. Um, but it is kind of like, I feel like it's kind of messed up, you know? Very positive on the game and didn't get one either. Not really what I'm saying here. Some positive creators gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's just, it's kind of weird, I guess, how they hand them out. I don't know. Glad I didn't buy the game. Well, that doesn't mean, like, you know, the game is better or not. It's just, like, kind of a weird way to, like, um, you just want to engage me. But it's kind of like a weird way, you know, how they did that. But anyways, so that's that. I want to talk about that real quick. Uh, next, we got to talk about the pre-orders, right? And we were already on this menu. So 
there's been a lot of um hoopla about the pre-orders and shit um people started complaining about it like a month ago or something like oh the, the pre-orders are low and shit you know uh, you know yeah um sure you know this one twitter account has been super like i went to like their actual site and like you know looked at their like you know articles on drag dog i mean like can we look at it really quick <laughs> dog this site is actually insane like they are very um i was just say they are very right wing bro very right winged they've made like a lot of wild um <laughs> uh what's it called stories on dragon age uh it's kind of yeah i mean like you can tell by the font my dude you can really tell by the font on the site i was just like oh god bro like i immediately knew anyways um has that weird format so yeah and then people were complaining like oh yeah we gotta be a shitty game and stuff you know gamers don't want whatever lgbtq race communism like, what the fuck are they talking about what the hell <laughs> what <laughs> oh my gosh i hope it becomes fail guard so wokies aren't here to save it it's so realistic i hope owning the chuds was worth it i think the market is trying to tell them something um pretends to be shocked good game looks like shit oh god it's happening all over again because woke dei garbage uh what the hell oh yeah the, the freaking yeah there you go yeah bourbon yeah so i mean they just been like holy shit bro this is from like a week or two ago oh no it's over for bioware no not the pre-orders rumor Philgard retail pre-orders are piss poor yeah they're just yeah they're just egging it on bro holy shit youtubers reference as sources other youtubers and then make an article about it and then people run with it as yeah that's what i'm like this site is like not don't go on to this site man like holy you can tell by the font like holy shit that's pretty cool but like you can tell bro um so yeah don't don't um <laughs> yeah but anyway so that's what they've been talking about everyone was like shooting on the pre-orders and shit but um well now it's um pretty much kind of the opposite um just what is it called over a week out, Dragon Age of Elgard is third most pre-ordered game and 13th overall on Steam. Well, there you have it. I mean, like, I think um, it's pretty um, obvious. I mean, some games you get, like, a shit ton of pre-orders and shit, yeah, but whatever. But you can't really, again, the game isn't out yet. You can't judge pre-orders on, you know, yeah. You, you can't judge pre-orders <laughs> on whether the game is going to be good or not, right? so there you have it yeah it's number one um pretty much on playstation right now being the most pre-ordered game across multiple platforms as soon as i see is well optimized on there yep there you go i mean like there you have it man <laughs> there you have it <laughs> i wonder what they're saying now yeah so i mean it's number one on psn if you go to steam right here number 27 in wishlist um Number seven in top sellers currently right now. Um, I guess in terms of people buy it, it's definitely going to be different like day before or a couple of days before. Um, so yeah, it's definitely like gone up in terms of pre-orders and shit. So that's good, um, you know. But again, like I said, it doesn't mean it's a good game. It doesn't mean it's a bad game. It just means that people are interested and you know they're buying the fucking game. So yeah. Um, 24th best selling on Steam, rose 41 positions, third largest pre-sale on Steam, second biggest pre-sale on PSN. Now it's number one. Well, it might be, I mean, maybe like in like in total, like forever, you know. But anyway, it probably will be number one, you know, um, for all time on PSN, but whatever. On Xbox, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is it? I mean it's at the top of like when I go to the games and shit um the store it's up there it's in, it's on the first page you know and shit so I mean I guess that's good I don't know I, I don't think anybody can get like data on the Xbox shit but yeah um flopping hard what an actual fuck post it casually gets oh uh, yeah you know woke saved it yay <laughs> were we misled 
Um, I have no skin in the game with Dragon Age, but goddamn, it's selling well would be the funniest thing. I was told this game will fail. Would fail. Uh, what the fuck? Bubblegum? Okay, anyways. But yeah, um, but they told us to go woke, go broke. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, this confirms, like, a lot of people are still gonna, you know, buy the game or that are, like, interested in shit. In terms of me, am I gonna pre-order the game? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pre-order the game, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pre-order. Well, I don't know. I can pre- we can pre-order until, like, the day before, I think, right? I do want to wait until the reviews come out on Monday, but, like... Here's the thing, I'm gonna play the game either way. If it's, I keep saying this in like every video I make, whether it's dog shit or not, I'm gonna play the game. I I'm gonna play the game, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the game. I've been waiting for 10 years for this dog shit, man, if it is dog shit. So, either way, yeah. Uh, I I'm probably gonna pre-order it like maybe tomorrow or the next day. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But very, very soon. But here's my thing with the pre-orders, right? Um, I talked about this before, I think. You know, maybe like a couple months ago. Um, here's the thing. When I pre-order a game, I want the game early. So it's like, the thing is, like, why why am I pre-ordering it? Because it's, it's different. You know, you can pre-order the game, you can buy it early. But it, it's not like I'm getting extra shit with it, right? It's not like I'm getting it early. It's not like I'm getting, like, extra items in the game. No, I'm not. You know, you can pre-order a standard edition. Boom. That's, uh, that's your pre-order, right? But, so, it's really no benefit for me to pre-order the game, you know? That's what I'm thinking, right? Because there's no benefit to that. Um, now, the only benefit you do have with the game and shit, if you buy the game, but this is if you buy the deluxe edition. Then you get, um, let, let's go to, like, the, let's go to the website, bro. On EA, oh, I get a discount. On Xbox, it's 70 bucks, though, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna be playing this shit on Xbox, but, uh... Yeah, anyway, I mean, whatever. Sure, why not? But, here's the thing, um... So this is standard edition, right? It's... Let's just say $60, okay? I have to EA shit. Um... $60... You get the Blood Dragon Armor Cosmetic. Now, why would I give a damn about that? Why would I care about a cosmetic? There's probably, and I hope... Probably like a gazillion other armors in the game that look cool also. What's the point of that? I don't care, bro. I mean, hopefully, because, you know, Inquisition, I put this on my, my review I just posted like a couple days ago. Um, it was like five armors in the game. <laughs> it was like five armors you could wear in a game, essentially. I guess like base game armors. It's like There's no um, variety, right? Um, it's definitely complete. I I'm pretty sure 100% it's just going to be like completely different here but anyways um yeah so i mean standard edition that's all i get right um it might be for it might be for the pre-order because then once you yeah i mean it might just be in general too but anyways um so that's pretty much it i mean because uh, unless i want the deluxe edition and i mean this is this is without pre-order right like pre-order there's no benefits i don't get the game early you still get it on october 31st 12 p.m edt um, if you live on the East Coast, but yeah, Deluxe Edition, um, well, I don't really, here's the thing, I don't really care about, like, cosmetics, like, I, I love my cosmetics and shit, but, like, it's, like, what's the point of just, like, like, you know, like, like, buying it for the game when there's gonna be more in the game, and I, I'd prefer to earn my shit, right, this is why I don't like the microtransaction shits and stuff, I like to earn my shit, right? Feels more rewarding. I like it that way, you know? But anyways, yeah, I mean, like, you get the blood armor cosmetic. I don't really give a shit about that. Six weapon appearances. What? I could change the look of my weapon. That's the thing I least care about. That, it's like the armor charms in Overwatch, man. Come on now. I mean, yeah, it, it's nice to have, right? You know, they probably look cool and shit, but it's just, I don't really care about that, you know? I don't, you know? Um, one warrior armor set appearance for Rook mage and then rogue oh wow so cool so we'll sell like two technically because then you have the blood dragon shit and then you got the different ones for companions i'm guessing um yeah sure why not for companions does that mean like um 
that's not like seven different ones right it's just for like each companion I, I don't know either way i don't care i don't care about that right because i mean of course we can do mods and shit you know um if i play on pc or something but yeah so it's just like there's no point of deluxe edition for me i wish um well i don't know i mean it's a single player game you know you don't want like microtransactions you know um i don't know i mean i guess it's fine I guess, I guess it's normal for deluxe editions, maybe, for, like, appearances and shit. But, I mean, for me, for this shit, I mean, it's just no point for me. It's no point. It, it's, it's a waste of money for me. So, I'm just going to get standard edition, not going to lie. Um, but am I going to pre- The thing is, like, pre-orders, and I, I saw this little Ackman thumbnail. I don't know where the fuck it's that. Where, where, where that? Where that Ackman? Where is it? Yeah, the Death of Midnight releases. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because, you, you know... You'd get the game early, right? You know, because you couldn't, like, download it or some shit. But now, um, you know, it, it, that shit's gone. But he also probably talks about pre-orders and shit, you know. And that's what I've been saying lately, you know. It's not like back then, you know, with pre-orders and shit and, like, getting the game early, you know. Yeah, it, it's no point because you don't get the game early anymore if you pre-order. I think the only game that did that lately, um, it might be more too, but, like, just recently for a game that I played was just Diablo and um it, it was only Diablo right so unless I'm getting into the game early it's no point in me pre-ordering the game yeah you can download the game early sure why not but I mean like yeah and, and that's why I'm gonna like you know buy it early <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be pre-ordering it just to download it before I play it or when I get home but yeah I mean that's, that's pretty much it I mean still I mean it's not like you know there's real no real um benefits for it um yeah so yeah um that's how I feel about pre-orders oh this is uh okay yeah oh so it is like one and it's for all of it yeah yeah who cares <laughs> who cares I don't care what these niggas put on bro y'all wear what the fuck you want um but yeah, no, I just, yeah, I just, I'd, I'd rather get shit in the game. I'd rather earn it, man. But yeah. So anyways, um, system requirements. Ooh, let's look at that. Um, 16 gigabyte. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to need some good shit, man. Uh, NVIDIA graphics card. Yada, yada. Hard uh, drive space. 100 gigs. Okay. I mean, that's that's fair enough. I mean, that's most big games nowadays, except for Call of Duty. Wasn't that shit like 200 gigs? I didn't play it yet. Anyways, that's it. I mean, that's that's all I gotta say. Oh no, I wanted to talk about um, and this is what was also coming with pre-orders and shit, right? You know, back in the day. Oh, you do have this pre-order offer, right? Get Dragon Age of Velgard if you purchase a six-month GFN Ultimate membership for the first time. This ain't really a pre or yeah, yeah, okay, anyways. And people were talking about it being a ripoff. Um, yeah, so here's what I wanted to, um... Oh! That's today! Oh, wait, oh, no, 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 that's, that's a month for now, okay, the 11th, okay. I was about to say, oh, shit, baby, I should. <laughs> but here's the thing, um... Lace Harding statue, oh! Okay, that's cool. $180! A hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> oh, go ask worse, guys, guys, guys. No, I swear, I swear, I saw somewhere it was like eighty bucks, guys, or like forty. But I, I don't know. I don't. The fuck out of my face. I swear, man. Holy shit. Oh my fucking gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. No way. No way. Really, guys. Really. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's look at the kofer, bro. Okay, well, installments. A hundred and fifty dollars. Light up Lyria Enchanted Die. Uh a thank you letter. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna pay in hundred and fifty dollars for this. I mean maybe, maybe I will, but I mean like in general no bro i can't bro no oh my god 
It looks like something I'd get from medieval times. I remember I got like some light up sword from there. Or like something from Disney World. Like, a, you know, them light up like wands and shit you get from Disney World. Crazy. All right, anyways, I'm not paying $150 for this. I'm sorry, bro. Um, and then we have the HC Deluxe Edition. What did I mean? Features Deluxe Edition. Okay, well, why isn't this on the actual, like, game page? Why why isn't this on the Xbox store? So, I mean, this is, like, a different deluxe edition. I mean, I guess. But what's the, the regular deluxe edition cost? What would it cost? Uh, that was probably, like, 80 bucks. Okay, sure, why not? But still, like, I, you know, guys. Ah. Oh, it's just a book. Not really. Is there nothing else in there? Oh no, it's just pictures and shit. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's cool. Actually, no, that's not bad. Actually, you know, yeah. I mean, hundred dollars for you know, yeah, for a picture book. I mean, it, it does seem like good quality and shit. You know, um, uh, hardcover art for the final whatever. I mean, it's basically just a book. And then like yeah, so I mean I I I'd, what I'd pay like thirty dollars for this shit. Okay, that's actually not bad. I guess maybe, but why isn't this on like you know like on other store pages like for Xbox or PlayStation or some shit? I don't know. You gotta like buy that shit and it gets like delivered and shit. It's still like a store page. You you should be able to do that on Xbox, but you know whatever. Um. Yeah. So I mean. Works Kofer, but like this shit, usually you get like this collectible shit with the game, right? Like, cause then you only have this picture book and then you get the game. Um, there is another thing though that I did see, that I did see, uh, let me go back here. It might've been the same thing. I think it was the same thing. You had a HC edition, deluxe edition, I think, I believe so. Um, no, this is a different one right here. Uh, secured a Verantium pack that includes a premium iron coat poster, steelbook, and a notebook from Dragon Age Belgar's concept art. Okay, wait. Steelbook. Okay, so this this is a notebook. I don't really give a shit about a notebook. Um, collector's outer box. Iconic metal poster. Oh. And, um... Yeah, how much is that? Make sure to check with your local retailer if the game will be included with the purchase. Okay, wait. Wait a minute. Hold up. I, I take back. Well, no, I don't take back because, you know, um, this is how it should have been in the first place. Because there, this isn't how it was. I already did this before. I talked about this before with the uh, the pre-orders and shit. Um, or, like, different editions in, like, an earlier video. And I guess they heard everyone talking shit about the little Rook's Kofer being separate from, like, having the actual game because usually you get like that little kofer thing uh where's the fucking tab usually you would get this shit like this and then the actual game but like you know this is uh completely different um this uh yeah yeah it is thank you for this collaborative uh partnership okay Oh, this is animated. Okay. Y'all could have actually done it yourselves. It would have looked a little bit cooler. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. So that's cool. But um, certain retailers don't have it with the game. So, Ufarinos. Here's also the thing. I want the game as soon as it comes out, right? As soon as it comes out. Right? So, that's also another issue. You know? <laughs> Because I don't want to order this shit. I know I got Diablo 4 like pretty much five days late after release. I, I oh my gosh. I was dreading, bro. I was dreading, man. It's such a bore getting, um, just waiting for it. Anyways, that's cool. That's not on the site though, but it's a collaboration with them. So, I mean, that, that's interesting. I mean, where would I, uh... Retail partners, Walmart. Oh, I want to go to Walmart and get that bitch. Huh. You know what? After work, I might go to Walmart for a quick second. But, I mean, you know, and see if it's there. No, I mean, because I want to play it as soon as it's on. I don't want to wait for, like, the download and shit. As soon as I come home from work, I wanna, I'm want i playing that bitch. I'm sorry. So, 
yeah but I, I mean that's cool though you know if you don't want to wait i'm sorry like i'm impatient as hell so anyways i guess they heard our cries about um you know the, the little <laughs> you know not getting shit with the um uh different editions and stuff you know like collector's editions right so that's good but anyways uh, that's just something i want to talk about um that's pretty much it um in terms of news and stuff and um this is pretty much the last video before the reviews i guess i'll make a video about the reviews i mean i i'm not making the review right i don't i don't have a fucking review kit but i mean we'll see um i guess i'll i mean i'll pre-order the game obviously because i need that shit as soon as the game drops right i mean i'd prefer to have the game early like it should be but you know yeah um good on them for um you know having this come with the actual game though good they still make this separate though is it worth 150 dollars uh nah, it ain't worth 150 dollars for me and let's just let's just leave it like that man let's just let's just leave it like that you know yeah <laughs> yeah if it was a hundred dollars i mean you know it's kind of crazy but i mean sure yeah I mean, I guess because, like, no, oh, they're the pure, they're the premium game items and shit, you know? Yeah, so, they, of course, they gotta be, like, high price or some shit. Even though, like, they made them for cheaper. But, yeah, so I'm gonna end it right there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pre-order the game, you know? Or probably the day before, you know? But, um, yeah, that's it. What do you think about the game? Or what do you think is gonna happen to the game, right? You think the reviews are gonna be cool? Um, how do you feel about the collector's edition? You know, Rook's Kofer... How do you feel about the deluxe, deluxe edition, this, whatever the fuck it is, because it comes with the game, apparently it's 100 bucks. I think that's kind of fair, I guess. I'd like one more item to come with it, though. But, yeah, you know, like a poster, then that'd be pretty cool. Um, I'd rather get, like, a big poster. Like, I'd rather get that metal poster, whatever the fuck I hang in my room, for, like, th the extra 30 bucks. Anyways, you know, because base game costs like $60, $70. But yeah, that's it. Um, All right, guys. Peace. Shot at a black man and took his shoes. Customized my AR like a Black Ops 2. Just scammed a white kid out of some Gorilla Glue. I don't want to fuck this bitch. She smell like poo-poo.